Hello, dear sisters and friends. My name is Bianca Lung, and I live in California. This week, we will be studying together lesson number 10 from the book of Acts, and this lesson has the title, Testifying with a Clean Conscience. The memory text says, And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. And this is found in Acts 24, verse 16. The opening note says, A conscience void of offense toward God and man, a heart that feels the tenderest sympathy for human beings, especially that they may be one for Christ, will have the attributes that Christ had. All such will be imbued with His Spirit. They will have a reservoir of persuasion and a storehouse of simple eloquence. Diving into our lesson, the first section for Sunday is called Tertullus the Orator. And the first question says, describe how flattering hypocrisy and lies were used to introduce Paul's hearing before Felix the governor. And first of all, I wanted us to look a little bit into Felix, into who he was as a person, how his character was. And the note tells us the character of Felix was base and contemptible. His acts of cruelty and oppression caused him to be universally hated. The treacherous cruelty of his character is shown by his brutal murder of the high priest Jonathan, to whom he was largely indebted for his own position. Through the deceptive arts of Simon Magus, a Cyprian sorcerer, Felix had induced Drusilla to leave her husband and to become his wife. Drusilla was young and beautiful and, moreover, a Jewess. She was devotedly attached to her husband, who had made a great sacrifice to obtain her hand. There was little indeed to induce her to forgo her strongest prejudices and to bring upon herself the abhorrence of her nation for the sake of forming an adulterous connection with a cruel and elderly profligate. So here we see a little bit of how Felix was. And Tertullus coming to him as the orator. First of all, we know that an orator is a speaker. He's eloquent and he's skilled in speaking. And being such a person, he knew how to use flattery and falsehood in order to get to the results he wanted. And this is exactly what happened um, in the verses from Acts chapter 24, verses 1 to 9. It says, And after five days, Ananias the high priest descended with the elders and with a certain orator named Tertullus, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy providence, we accept it always, and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. So he starts out by saying they're enjoying all these things because of Felix. And he knew that using these words, using flattery, was going to touch Felix and whatever would come after, whatever he would say after that, would be taken differently than if he hadn't used flattery. Um, the last part of the note says, Those who heard Tertullus knew that his flattering words were untrue, but their desire to secure the condemnation of Paul was stronger than their love of truth. So this is really interesting. The people who heard these words, they knew those weren't true. They knew whatever he said about Felix wasn't true. But they didn't care as much about that as they cared about seeing Paul condemned. So they thought, it doesn't matter how we get to the end results as long as we get there. They didn't care that whatever was being spoken was not the truth. My wish today is that we choose to speak the truth and we choose to listen for the truth. That we don't use flattery or lies in order to get our way, regardless of what the results will be. Sometimes we may have good results in mind. We may be trying to do a good thing. But if we're using the wrong means to get there, we're not justified. Thank you for studying with me today. I will see you back here again tomorrow.